Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to today's episode of the Live, Train, Perform podcast. I'm your host, Sean Koba. And what I'm doing today is going through my five-minute fitness tips. Now, I'm going to be doing this every two weeks on Thursday uh, in conjunction with my Reflections episode uh, running on opposing weeks. So every two weeks on Thursday, I'll drop a five-minute fitness tip and on the opposite weeks will be my Reflections episode. So in today's episode, I want to talk about what your intent is. Uh, Prior to that, I do want to apologize if the audio is not great. I'm recording this on Wednesday night. It's dumping down with rain, so uh, the audio quality might not be up to standard, so just bear with me, please. Um, In today's episode, I'm talking about why. What is your intent? Um, Whenever I get a new client, I ask them what we're training for. They give me an end state, an end goal, where they want to get to, what they want to achieve, and then I work my way backwards Okay, then we need to figure out where they're at right now. Once we figure out where they want to go and where they're at right now, then we need to start uh, road mapping it. Uh, the roadmap is essentially putting a plan in place. Now, a lot of people go through their training program just doing random shit, okay, throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. Now, this is literally the difference between exercising and training and I want you guys to ask yourself this question, am I exercising or am I training? What is the difference between the two? Okay, exercising in my mind is what can I do right now to have a workout, break a sweat, get my heart rate up? Okay, now there's nothing inherently wrong with exercising, but if you're exercising for the wrong reasons, then you might be doing more damage. Okay, training on the other hand is goal oriented. It is having a look at where you want to go and then putting a roadmap in place, putting those steps and processes in place that's going to move you in the right direction. So what is training? Training is what can I do right now that's going to add to and complement everything that I'm working towards. Is it complementing me? Is it pushing me in the right direction or is it sabotaging me? And this is an important um, distinction because so many people just want to go to the gym to burn calories. Okay, now if you're going to the gym to burn calories and your goal is simply weight loss, well, let me tell you that you're doing it wrong. If your goal is weight loss, you should be looking at the other 23 hours of the day because that's where the magic happens. That one hour in the gym should be looking to complement your life or counteract your life okay now an analogy that I like to use is if you're going to the gym for weight loss and you're just going to burn calories ask yourself this question when was the last time you jumped in your car and just drove for the sake of burning fuel probably very unlikely that 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 has happened or it does happen very often Now, it might happen occasionally, and I do this sometimes where I just jump on my bike and I go for a cruise and I'm not really planning on going anywhere and I'm just going with the wind, but that's the exception rather than the rule. The majority of the time I'm jumping on my bike, I have a purpose, I have somewhere to go, and this is the same as training versus exercising. Now, think about it like this. If you're busy and you only have one hour per day to train, then you want to make sure that what you're doing in the gym is going to be benefiting you. It's going to be serving you. It's going to be pushing you in the right direction, okay, along with the other 23 hours of the day. Now, here's the other thing. You've probably heard this time and time again is you cannot out-train a bad diet. And this is something that I see all the time. These people that have this mindset of, well, I've trained today, so now I can eat whatever the fuck I want. You are doing it wrong, okay? That is a perpetual hamster wheel. You'll continue chasing your tail and doing the same thing you've been doing for the last five years and getting the same results that you've got for the last five years. All right, so training has an end state. It is about figuring out where you want to go figuring out where you're at right now and then putting steps and processes in place on a daily basis that's moving you in the right direction. Exercise, on the other hand, is what can I do right now 
to burn some calories, break a sweat, get my heart rate up and feel like I've worked hard. All right, knowing the difference between those two is important for this journey. I'm going to be diving into more details on how to set these goals, set the direction. Uh, I'll be talking about warm-up protocols, mobility, stability, strength, power, speed, endurance, um, specific adaptations to impose demands, energy system conditioning, rehabilitation, all of these aspects of strength and conditioning and not only strength and conditioning but health and fitness that contribute to your overall wellness in moving you in the right direction. That's it from me this week, guys. Hopefully, you got something out of that. And let me ask you this question again to round this episode out. Are you training or are you exercising? Peace.